This 2022 Newell coach is one of the hottest coaches we've ever seen on the channel. It has a floor plan completely different than any Newell coach or any motorhome at that. Triple bunks with a Murphy bed and lots of cool features that I'm excited to show you today. This coach just became available here at the Motor Coach Store in Bradenton, Florida for $2,222,222. Before we show you one of the coolest interior in the motorhome industry. Let's take a quick look around the exterior, go through the bays. The first thing I wanna point out are the cool spikes on the chrome wheels. Does have the 365 tires up front, the valid slides, the window awnings. It may be hard to see, but there's red RGB lights going around the windows. And this coach does have the push button bay doors, so we can just press a button and that will open those up. And let me show you guys how quickly I can do this this Boom. We, right now we have the slide rooms out. So we're gonna show you how easy it is to access these bays with the slide rooms out. First bay is gonna be a large storage bay with that carbon fiber face. I see an extra cooler there on the other side of the coach. And it's got the big industrial grade power washer wand. I always enjoy seeing that. The next bay is gonna be your outdoor kitchen. So you can see it's got the carbon fiber face the Kenyan cooktop. If you want to get a little more countertop space on both sides of your cooktop there, you can pull those out, extend your outdoor kitchen. And then you also have another little ice maker out here. So if you want to get set up for a party, this coach is definitely set up for that. And when we see inside, there's even more cool stuff like this. Going into the next bay here, it's going to house a lot of the electronic components. You've got this bin that will pull out your twin out back and Inverters are housed back there. And then this next bay is gonna house the holding tanks, but they utilize this to have a TV as well. You can see this dust cover on it right now. You can angle that TV to fit what suits best. And then if you need to access behind the TV, you've got your Aqua Hot 675 back here. And then the 143 gallon fresh water holding tank. And then the 143 gallon combined waste tank will be housed behind there as well. The next bay is going to house the 200 gallon diesel fuel tank and I like to point out that there's a light coming down there so when you open this up at night you can see that dual side fuel fill so you can fill up on either side and I also have to point out how cool this paint job is with the red white black lots of little drop shadows the metallic in the silver a really cool pattern with the big drop shadows really cool design that's definitely going to grab everybody in the campground's attention. Here's a side look at the engine bay. We've got our hose reel for the power washer and then a side look at the Cummins X15, 605 horsepower. You've got easy access to your engine hatch. It does have a 25,000 pound towing capacity and there's a cool RGB lighting here inside of the engine that at nighttime will make this glow red, giving it a really stylish look. And then you've got your air compressor pressure hose and it does have an air doubler so you do have enough pressure to air up your tires if you need. And here's your 50 amp cord reel. You can start and stop your generator out here. Nice little spot for that tucked away from everything else. You'll notice a camera on the fuel door that makes it easy to align this fuel bay with the diesel fuel pump when you're pulling up to a truck stop. And we just press that little button and that will pop open. You can see it's all finished and stainless and usually this bay will open up more but with the slide room being out it only opens up halfway typically when you're filling up at a truck stop you're gonna have those slide rooms in but there is even a little bumper right here so that when you do open that up with the slide room in it's not scratching that here's a look at your plumbing bay all finished out in carbon fiber and the other side of your holding tanks you can monitor your tank levels you have a manifold system
system, little spot to wash your hands, your power hose reel, and then here's access to your Headhunter Mach 5 water pump as well as the auxiliary water pump. This bay is gonna house the cooling system for the generator. We are running the generator on a hot and humid Florida day right now. So when we pop this open, you'll be able to see it's helping push all of that hot air out from that 20 kW generator up front. And then you can see those DI filters for your power washer and then an extra sewer hose extension. This next bay is gonna be the other side of the outdoor kitchen that we saw but you do have some storage on the back side of this bay and then the first bay is going to house a Dometic cooler typically that's going to be on the door side but this original owner opted to have it placed over here and then you've got your dual sided cooler so you can set that to be a refrigerator or freezer and that'll all come out with the remote i love the style of the front end of this coach with the white front cap it's got like a pearl metallic in that white the newell logo is going to be back backlit at nighttime and it is a hot and humid day in Florida and we've got a really hot coach here so let's go take a look inside and cool off we've got those ACs running As you can see, this is one of the hottest interiors we've ever seen on the channel with the red accent lighting and the light colors that really tie in the exterior and the interior together. And there's so many little subtle touches in this coach as well, like this ceiling. And I, I believe this is a special type of fish hide that the original owner of this coach wanted to integrate into that ceiling and it really came together well. This is a totally different floor plan than the traditional floor plans. This is set up where if you have a lot of people, there's a lot of open floor space, but a lot of seating as well. And on the door side of the coach, we've got this very long couch that does wrap around with the table that will tilt in and out. And then a TV in the slide room here. So when the slide rooms do come in, you can still see this TV. And I've got to point out how high end of materials are on these leathers. They've got a texture to them. Them and they're a very durable material. Everything is showing like new. And beautiful sconce lights that tie in some of the different patterns we see, like the backsplash in this kitchen. And the way this side of the coach is set up, you've got all kinds of galley space, lots of countertop space here. So if you wanted to have a buffet style set up, you could definitely throw a really cool party in this coach. And then there's a lot of drawer space up front, a little spot for a trash can. And then there is a TV on a televator, press one button and that will effortlessly come up. You can see that beautiful countertop. And this is that newer style countertop that's got the larger grains, very high end, definitely all the newer styles. And of course, all of that RGB lighting, the red lighting below the countertop, above the slide room faces, in the ceiling. You've got more lights glowing off of that high gloss floor. And these cabinets are very light, but they have a nice wood grain texture that gives it a little more warm feeling. It's not too sterile in here. Even though this coach is very bright and light, those little textures really give it a high-end warm feel. You've got the huge sink with the garbage disposal and the Wolf induction cooktop. This does have the Miele oven here with the white face to match those cabinets. And the owners of this coach did something really cool with a little ice maker. It's definitely set up to have some parties where you can get your ice right out, make some cocktails, make some drinks. And then it has a flush face so it looks like it's a part of the cabinets. And I like the two-toned hardware with the black and the silver. Now we've demonstrated in a lot of videos all of the functions that you can do from this touch pad here. We could put the shades up and down, control the climate control, floor heat, run the generator, control the lighting slide rooms, all of that good stuff from this panel. And then we also have these tablets that we can walk around the coach doing all that stuff. You could put the slide rooms in and out, inside and outside of the coach. So if there's some tree branches that you wanna keep an eye on, a lot of value in being able to walk outside and put your slide rooms out. And as we come into the middle of the coach, Newell broke up the lighter cabinets with these darker cabinets and they have a really cool texture to them. And then this is gonna be the huge 
GE monogram refrigerator with that same style of hardware that we saw on the ice maker. It does have the pull out ice tray here. So lots of sources of ice in this coach and then the deep freezer drawer here. Now, if you do want to section off the coach, there is a door going into the hall with a full length mirror. And then there's also more pantry storage here before we go into the bunk area in the middle of the coach. Now this is a triple bunk coach and the half bathroom is on the driver's side of the coach and most of the newels, the half bathroom is on the patio side. So a really cool use of space the way they did this. And this has the triple bunks. Every detail in this coach is so high end. If you look at all of this material here on the ladder, every square inch of this coach is finished out. You do have the flip down screens here in the bunks and we actually forgot to flip on the RGB lighting in the bunks as well but you do have individual lighting as well as that RGB lighting up top and then each bunk is gonna have a set of headphones that pair with that monitor we can also section off the rear of the coach with another sliding door this does have that full-length mirror as well across from the bunks we've got the half bathroom here you can just feel how robust this door is you can see See those big industrial grade hinges but we've got an underlit countertop with the RGB lighting and a really cool faucet here very modern with that glass bowl sink and a really cool backsplash and two different textures on the walls of this bathroom it does have the bidet toilet and plenty of room in this half bathroom coming towards the rear of the coach this is totally different than any other Newell coach we've seen this is typically going to be the master bed Bedroom, but the way they design this, it's a great dual use for this space. So in the daytime, you could put your Murphy bed up and then you've got this nice sofa. You've got two TVs here. You have a TV behind your couch. It's perfect when you're laying in bed at night. And then there's another TV on the back side of the Murphy bed so that you could watch TV in the daytime. And this is just a really comfortable, like a lounge feel. Does not feel like a motor home. I could see this being used as like a green room for celebrities if they want more living space in the daytime or even like a party coach if you want to utilize this space in the day and then flip the bed down at night you could have a lot of people in this coach very comfortably and then there's lots of little details like the storage here newell uses every nook and cranny for storage we have outlets usb and usb c ports We've got Gallo acoustic speakers in the ceiling, such a high-end feel. That same texture with the red lighting in the ceiling with that X pattern, really cool style. To put the bed down, we have this little locking mechanism right here. We can unlock it and then pull it down very effortlessly and then I believe this flips down up oh, and we didn't make the bed that's one of the big advantages of having the Murphy bed is you don't have to make your bed you just flip it up in the morning and your sheets are how you left them but when we do flip this down we've got these nice compartments here with a cup holder again that launch port tablet that we can control the systems of the coach I believe this is a full king size bed very large bed and again that very high-end head Headboard, that texture and then we've got some closet space next to your bed with adjustable shelving and and even with the bed down we've got a lot of space here in between the couch and the bed extremely comfortable and I always like having a sofa in my bedroom a nice spot to sit down and maybe tie your shoes sometimes you just want to sit and relax in your bedroom before going to bed even compared to like a regular Newell I'm really impressed with this floor plan just because we don't don't see very many sofas in the bedrooms. And then when you wake up in the morning and you're done using your bed, you very easily lift that up. This will fold down. Lock it into place with that little button. So then now you have all of this open space. If you maybe want to do a little yoga or some exercise, a lot of value in having this space. Coming back into the rear bathroom, so much coach here. We do have a washer and dryer and these doors will kick back to give you easy access while you're doing some loads of laundry. You've got a spot here to put laundry detergents and then your dryer down below. Beautiful underlit countertop, again with that RGB lighting and a really cool 
Bristol style backsplash with some darker tiles that I haven't seen in the front of the coach. Does have the bidet toilet and then a good amount of storage here in the back of the coach. Again, that door will go in. You've got your safe. You can really smell that cedar. And then you've got the dual sided closet there with that door that will tuck in for couples to separate your stuff. And then you have drawer space here as well. And then a really good size shower. As we've talked about, there's so much headroom in Newell coaches, so very comfortable. And then that seamless drain where it's really hard to see the drain. Then it's got the shampoo conditioner and soap dispensers and really cool hardware here too. This coach currently is available here at the Motor Coach Store in Bradenton, Florida for $2,222,222. We did give you a quick tour here, but I actually had an opportunity to film this coach when it was brand new with Josh Schneider and James Nethery from Newell Coach. James, the head engineer at Newell, took us through the interior and explained a lot of the build on that. That was done with a GoPro camera. Uh, we've tried to step our video production up since then. A lot of great information in that video, so we will leave a link to that in the description below. Serious and qualified buyers can contact Bradley Twait. His information is available at themotorcoachstore.com. We greatly appreciate all of you that are subscribing to the channel and hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again.